Hello IB students, today we will be solving the Physics HL Paper 2 2024. We will be looking at the 7th question that appeared on this exam. I will give a detailed explanation of all the concepts required to solve that particular problem. So let's get started. Question 7. In a simplified model of energy balance of the Earth, the surface of Earth absorbs incoming solar radiation of average global intensity I0. The surface emits thermal radiation of average intensity I1. Some of the radiation emitted by the surface is absorbed by the atmosphere and re-emitted towards the surface. The average intensity of this radiation is I2, meaning I0 and I2, that's the total intensity absorbed by the earth. And then I1 is the intensity that's emitted. The reason, mind you, there is no reflection. All the energy that goes out, that's I1, is emitted. Emission is different from reflection. If there were reflection, then the beam would go in and bounce back off. But that's not what this image is saying. There is absorption first and then there is re-emission. So if there is no reflection of radiation, that means we can consider Earth to be a black body. And that's the simplification they have used. Because a black body absorbs all the radiation that it receives and then it re-emits it. There's no reflection in a black body. Alright, we can also write a quick equation here that's I0 plus I2 must equal I1. The amount of energy that's incident and is absorbed by Earth must be equal to the amount of energy that's emitted outwards. Why should that be true? That is true because the Earth is at a constant temperature. It's at thermal equilibrium. If I0 and I2 were greater than I1, it would mean the Earth has a net gain of thermal energy. That would increase its temperature. Since that's not the case, the Earth is at a constant average temperature, we can assume this equation to hold true. All right, let's have a look at the question. Explain the effect of an increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere of on I2. So if there's an increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, what's going to happen? First of all, more of the surface radiation I1 would be absorbed by the greenhouse gases. Once they absorb more radiation, they're going to re-emit a larger amount of it back towards the surface. So there's an increase in the absorption by the atmosphere and there is an increase in the re-emitted intensity of light back to the surface. So I2 is going to increase. All right, so that explains this first part of the problem. Okay, let's move on to the second part of the problem. The following data are given. I0 and I2. Determine the average temperature of the surface of Earth according to this model. So if I0 and I2 is given to us, we can use them to find I1. So I1 is going to be simply 240 plus 150 and that's a value of 390 watts per meter square. This means that the earth emits 390 joules per second per meter square. We also realize that earth acts as a black body. If that's the case, its emissivity is equal to 1. Emissivity of a black body is equal to 1. We can use this information and plug this into an equation in our data sheet. We know the emissivity, it's 1. We know the total power radiated, it's 390. We just need to rearrange this equation for temperature. If we do that, we get, we get a value of T equals square root 390 divided by the Stefan Boltzmann's constant, that's sigma. The value of sigma is 5.67 into 10 to the minus 8. If we solve this, we get a value of about T equals 288 Kelvin. And that solves this problem. I hope you found this video helpful. I tutor one-on-one. -on -one. If you need more help, the link is in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Happy learning.